So in this video we are going to learn the Boole's rule which comes under what a numerical integration method. Okay, so we have taken this problem over here and here also in this method also we have a restriction that is basically that we cannot use any other intervals. We have to use the multiple of 4, 4, 8, 12 and so on. So basically if they have mentioned like this in this question they have mentioned it as n is equal to take the interval as 4. But it is not necessary that all the questions so they will mention the interval as 4 or anything else. So if they are not mentioning it then take 8, 12, 4 anything is fine. But it is better to take 4 as the interval or 8 is also fine. 4 because the the number of steps will get reduced. Because for the evaluation of the approximate value you have to make the table. So that table will depend upon the interval. So if you have small interval then the table will also will be small the calculations will be small okay so first we have to learn the formula so i is equal to the definite integral we are going to find out which is equal to 2h by 45 into okay 7 y naught which is the first value then 32 y1 plus 12 y2 plus 32 y3 plus 7 y4 plus so on. So this is basic formula for all Boole's rule. Now here in this how to remember this formula. See 2h by 45 you can remember you have to remember and rest all terms if you see y0, y1, y2, y3, y4 you keep on writing okay and 7 32 12 32 7 32 12 32 that means what is the, uh, the pattern here 7 32 12 32 7 32 12 32 and so on so you can observe the pattern right so 7 32 12 32 that is a pattern that pattern you have to follow that's it okay otherwise you can find your own way to you know to remember the formula next step is to find the h value before that you just compare with the standard form so a b y dx now y is nothing but the function of x so here what is the function function is nothing but e x e power x so function is e power x now we have to find the h value h is nothing but b minus a by n what is b upper limit right so while comparison upper limit is 1.2 lower limit is 0 substitute the values so 1.2 minus 0 divided by n, n is nothing but 4. So 1.2 divided by 4 is 0 0.3. Okay. So this is the value we are getting for h. So based on this h, we have to form the table. So this is how the table looks. So what you are going to do, we have to make two rows or two columns. I have made two columns here. The first column will have x value. Second column will have y value. Y value is nothing but the function of x we have discussed. And which is equal to e power x given in the question okay now here x table will fill it up now it starts with 0 why because the question given here was basically e uh, from 0 to 1.2 e power x ds right so 0 is nothing but the lower limit 1.2 is the upper limit so from lower limit to upper limit you have to go okay so from lower limit to upper limit you have to go by taking h as the step or h as the width h is nothing but here 0.3 so start with the lower limit just add 0.3 which is nothing but h you will get the next value then again add 0.3 again keep on adding 0.3 till you get the upper limit so from 0 we have to start go to 1.2 by adding 0.3 simple so if you see each interval you will be getting the width as 0.3 okay now after this we have to find the corresponding value of what y so before that one more thing you remember how many intervals are there totally 1 2 3 4 intervals are there right so n value as given in the question it is nothing but 4 how many points will be there totally 5 points will be there the thing is that the number of intervals is 4 if you add 1 you will get what the points in this numerical integration the points are basically called as what ordinates ordinates okay so from ordinates how many ordinates are there how many points are there 5 points if you subtract one you will be getting the interval in other way also you can remember okay next corresponding uh, y value you have to find out so for that you have to substitute the 0 0 0.3 to the corresponding x values 
So if you substitute 0, e power 0 value you will get and that is denoted by y naught which is nothing but the first value always remember this you have seen in the question this is what we have to substitute right so y naught y1 y2 y3 y4 so last value we are getting y4 which is corresponding to 1.2 x value so after this you have to substitute in the formula next you have to substitute the values so definite angle i is equal to 2 into h value is nothing but 0 0.3 by 45 and to substitute all the values So getting the i value as 2.319454 the thing is that you can consider the decimal point if they have given that there is decimal up to 5 decimal point 3 decimal point then you can consider after the decimal point 3 values 3 numbers 5 values 5 numbers otherwise you, uh, you have to consider at least 4 values for the most nearer to closer value if you want to get nearer to the actual value okay of the definite integral for the given question then you can consider at least 4 decimal places after that up to decimal point, 4 numbers you can consider. Okay, 4 or 5, anything is fine. So here I have taken 5 uh, decimal numbers after the point. So, the i value we have got. What is the actual value we are going to get? The actual value of i, the actual value, using the calculator you can find out which is equal to 2.320. This is the actual value. Okay. So, we can see that it is approximately equal only, but the thing is that slight deviation, slight error will be there. 